hey, I want you to think about your patch management server, the one that's supposed to be your organization's single source of truth for security updates. Now ask yourself, what if that server wasn't your protector, but a wide open door and not just any door, a door that hackers are already walking through for every single CTO and developer watching right now. You have one of your most trusted internal facing systems being actively abused. We're not talking about some fringe exploit. This is a remote code execution vulnerability in Microsoft's Windows Server Update Services, or WSUS, and it's a terrifying new reality for network security. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. That internal door I just mentioned, it's labeled CVE 2025-59287, and it allows an unauthenticated attacker to execute code remotely on your WSUS server. Think about that for a second. Remote code execution, it's the ultimate prize for a hacker. CISA, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, has already added this to their known exploited vulnerabilities catalog. That means if you're running WSUS, you should be moving like your hair is on fire. Now, as a fractional CTO who lives and breathes this stuff, I've broken down the threat intelligence from the top security firms into three key insights you need to understand right now to secure your network. But first, let me interrupt myself right here. I have to say this, leaving a comment below is my favorite thing, truly. It is the absolute best compliment you can give me. Tell me your patch strategy, or if you've had to scramble to fix this, I want to know. This vulnerability is a textbook deserialization issue, primarily targeted through the get cookie endpoint on your WSUS server. The attack essentially tricks the server into processing malicious, unverified data, which is where the remote code execution takes its foothold. Palo Alto's Unit 42 released a detailed brief that highlights the deserialization flaw as the core mechanism that allows this code execution to happen before any security checks. As someone with 25 years of software development experience, I can tell you that improper data handling, especially deserialization of untrusted input, is one of the most common and devastating mistakes we still see in enterprise applications. Once the attacker successfully executes their payload, they gain control of the WSUS server, turning your update system into a high privilege staging ground for a full domain takeover. The fundamental technical lesson here for my dev community is simple. Never trust incoming data, particularly when it involves object reconstruction, or you risk handing over the keys to your entire system. Check the link in the description to startuphacksecurity.com if you want more technical breakdowns like this. This isn't just about a server falling over. The end goal is domain credentials and sensitive data exfiltration. Sophos's counter threat unit documented the attacker's process tree. They drop a malicious file and use a decoded PowerShell command to sweep your system. This command is designed to gather vital domain user and network information. The exact intel a threat actor needs for lateral movement across your internal network. Darktrace has observed post-exploitation activities, including the deployment of tools like Velociraptor for further command and control, illustrating a methodical approach to endpoint takeover. It's a classic example of low and slow data harvesting. The server itself is just the starting point. The real prize is all the internal network information it can see. In my work guiding teams through security reviews, the time it takes to detect this kind of internal sweep is always the scariest part. You have to assume compromise and hunt for the artifacts they leave behind. Microsoft didn't mess around here. The severity of this active exploitation forced an out-of-band security update. This isn't your regular Patch Tuesday. An out-of-band release signals a maximum severity stop everything emergency, which is rare for Microsoft. If you haven't patched yet, your first non-negotiable step is to go to the Microsoft Security Response Center MSRC update guide, which I've linked below, and apply the necessary patch right now. A key interim mitigation, if you can't patch immediately, is to follow the guidance from security researchers and isolate your WSUS server from public or non-essential internal access. Listen, I've been leading technical teams for a decade. I know patching a critical system is a pain, but failing to act on this specific RCE is the definition of negligence in 2025. This vulnerability is a five alarm fire. And speaking of pain, you know what helps me forget the headaches of emergency patching, you leaving a comment. Seriously, drop a note about your biggest security pain point this week. It's my absolute favorite thing. And honestly, the best compliment you can give me is engaging with the community. So what do you think about this vulnerability? Could this turn into a big one? I love having a good discussion. So make sure to drop a comment and remember to like and subscribe. Because here at Startup Hack, we love helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've supported countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out because we can help secure your company today. Hit those links down below and check out startuphacksecurity.com.